Time to get back to Suzanne and more Answers for Elders. And welcome back, everyone, to Answers for Elders Radio Network. And we've had an amazing hour, and I'm so thrilled, again, to be here in this beautiful community. And for those of you that are in the greater Seattle area, your address, you're right on Capitol Hill on 9th and what is the cross street? Uh, Cherry and Columbia. So we're Cherry right and up Columbia. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just up from Harborview near Swedish Hospital. Virginia Mason. Uh, Virginia yeah. Mason. All of the, the amazing, um, you know, clinics here, the polyclinics here. It's just amazing, you know, everything. You're close to downtown, just over the freeway, um, overpass. It's really kind of yeah. cool. You've got the Fifth Avenue Theater, the Paramount, all kinds of great things going on here. So we are here again with Brooke. Kasten, and who is the Associate Executive Director. And Brooke, thank you for being with us this oh, last hour. And I'm going to close off with this hour talking about your residents. Tell me about the type of residents that live here and why, and just how do they do here? We have um, probably the most engaged group of residents that I've seen in any senior living facility. Mm -hmm. We have more resident committees and interest groups mm -hmm. and lecture groups and crafting groups and that I've, I've awesome. seen anywhere. I would tell you the number, but I honestly don't know because there are so many and they're getting out right. all the time. Yeah. Right. So chances are if you are interested in something, whether it's knitting or Civil War history, or <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. amazing, right? We have somebody here that's also interested in that. Yeah. And, with and I'm to, assuming yeah. you have residents that are involved in creating these types oh, of it's groups. all resident led. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have sense of purpose every day waking up. That's so huge. Well, we hear so much in general about how a sense of community is important for just general mental health and absolutely you know as as someone in their 40s i feel mm -hmm. like right now i have a really strong community at home and in my neighborhood and i you know have a daughter that's still in school mm -hmm. and so we're involved in that parent group mm -hmm. but you know I, I i see that dwindling you know as my parents get older and mm -hmm. i hear that from our residents as they got older you know their mm -hmm. friends have passed or they've moved yeah. away to be closer to their adult children and and your community shrinks. And so, exactly. you know, people experience that, exactly. that almost slow isolation that almost you don't yeah. realize it's happened until it's happened. Exactly. But, you know, moving to a place like this, it's, you know, it's 300 other people that well, are. And I hear so many stories, especially if someone has lost their spouse. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a sense of just you want to retreat and and go into depression. And a lot of times what happens is the spouse will pass very quickly after the, you know, the first mm -hmm. one goes because they don't find a way to find purpose again. Yeah. And so one of the things that's really great about, you know, maybe you're in a situation where you're in a transition, you will find an incredible community by moving in. You don't have the yeah. home maintenance. You don't have yeah. all the things that you've been dealing with in the family home. And guess what? You just get to play and you get to be who you are. And that's the great thing about being in a community like this. How do you see, and I, I can imagine that I, I know a million stories, but yeah. tell me about the average person and when they move in, how did they change? Because I know there has to be a change. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's a huge decision to move to a place like this. It's a big decision to sell the home that you raised your children in. Um, you know, and I think everybody's, you know, nervously excited. Um, yeah. But, you know, the, the thing that I hear most from, you know, the residents who have come into tour and, and we, you know, set them up for lunch with, a, with mm -hmm. another resident group is that they just feel sort of immediately enveloped. That's awesome. Yeah. That's and awesome. just immediately cared for. You know, it's an immediate friend group. Wonderful location. Um, just having the time of their lives, I'm yeah. sure. And because they're getting proper care, they're getting proper nutrition, how does that change? I, I can imagine it's huge. Yeah. I mean, we get, we had a family meeting yesterday where they were, you know, were saying, man, I haven't seen dad look like this in 10 years. Isn't so, that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, you know, just having that opportunity to connect is important and having those relationships. Now, when you, when somebody, if they're interested in moving in, um, what's, what can happen when they pick up the phone? What, what happens at that point? So, um, like I said, you you talk to one of our sales counselors mm-hmm. and, you know, you'd schedule a time to come in for a tour and, you know, usually they'll also schedule a, a lunch or a dinner or a breakfast with a group mm-hmm. of residents. Mm-hmm. So we're not really involved in that at all. We want you to meet the people that we have here and mm-hmm. have them tell you, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. Right. You know. There's always going to be something that bothers you about living in a big communal setting, but, you know, we want people to be aware of that coming into it, but there's far more good and, Absolutely. you know, our residents will, will sell that. You know, and I love the fact that you do that because yeah. you give an opportunity to just step back and say, is this going to be a fit? Yeah. You're not pushing people to do something that they don't want to do. And I yeah. think that's the thing that's really important is this is a natural process. It's not a... Uh, it's not a hard sell. It's not anything. When somebody picks up the phone, they're going to learn about a community and maybe experience it and check out if it if they think it's the right thing for them. Yeah. And I think that's the really amazing thing about a community like yours. Yeah. So tell me a little bit again about, um, you know, people, let's say they come in. I'm just going to touch briefly. Let's say they've had an accident or something like that and they've been and they come into a rehab community. How does that work? Do they could, Can they come into a rehab center if they're not a resident? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Tell and me about how you can also move has... straight into assisted living or memory care That's as well. That's awesome. So, but yes, yeah, so generally somebody would have some sort of qualifying hospital stay. Mm-hmm. So Medicare does require a three-night hospital stay where right. you're admitted to the hospital to, to cover a skilled nursing stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, you know, oft, honestly, that's how how we've gotten a fair amount of our Absolutely. independent living residents. Is they get a little taste of it, and you know, maybe two, three years down the road, mm-hmm. they they remember Skyline right. and remember the good care they got, and yeah. they want to come back. And so, you have services, I'm sure, like physical therapy, yep. occupational therapy, different things like that. So, those are all the uh, the great processes. Mm-hmm. And again, so I invite each and every one of you, if you're in the Greater Seattle area, pick up the phone check out this beautiful community and Brooke how do we call again what's the number 206-407-1700 and wishing each and every one of you a Merry Christmas here Merry at Christmas Skyland. And happy Hanukkah. Time to get back to Suzanne and more Answers for Elders. And I would like to thank everyone for being a part of Answers for Elders and having being with us here at Skyline Retirement. Brooke Kasten, it's been an amazing time having you on the show this week. And I want to think about, I want everyone to think about when you're traveling for the holidays, how can you make your loved ones smile? Think about ways in which you can connect over the holiday season. And remember, if you have a question, you can always go to AnswersForElders.com or your favorite podcast channel, put in a search field about all kinds of information that might be relevant to what you're doing. And we're very honored to be with you and looking forward to each and every one of you having a merry, merry Christmas. Now I'm going to take you on a journey called Senior Care. In the darkness, it is filled with crossroads and detours. There are so many pathways, all unique. And where will they take you? Who are the people you can trust? So look up into the sky and see it. It's the North Star the brightest star in the sky and the trusted resource to finding your way. And as the number one comprehensive senior care resource in digital podcast content, the Answers for Elders radio network is the North Star to guide you in your aging years. Our podcast will help you discover the right solutions in the care of your loved one, and we will help family caregivers find guidance along the way. When I was caring for my mom, I remember so many sleepless nights in a deeply personal journey. The overwhelming stress I felt while trying to hold down a career, take care of my own family, and ultimately trying to navigate her care was more than I could take at times. It tore my family apart. My life felt out of control. 
and I would question the decisions that I made, and I felt like the weight was all on my shoulders. I was in the darkness, and I didn't have a guide. And from that experience, I vowed no one who cares for a loved one should ever have to live in this kind of confusion. No one should feel like when making decisions, they feel like they don't know what they don't know. And no one should go through this journey without having resources that could make the journey a whole lot easier. So the Answers for Elders Radio Network features thousands of podcasts of experts who are way showers. They educate seniors and their families Listen, and you'll discover new pathways, new insights, and calming guidance on the right path. Navigating the right solutions for yourself or a loved one can be overwhelming, just like they were for me. It involves finding trustworthy providers who can help guide you along the way through every crossroads. In the darkest of times, we are here to light the path. And we're also here when you're gazing into that night sky, preparing for the road ahead. The Answers for Elders Radio Network podcasts are free and educate and empower you as you navigate a very complicated personal journey. You will discover trustworthy content through vetted providers in money and law, living solutions, healthcare, and in life transitions in over 65 categories of expertise. So I invite you, meet our way showers who can help guide you. Discover a vast library of podcasts on Answers for Elders Radio Network, all free on Apple, Spotify, or just go to our website on AnswersForElders.com. And until next week, everyone, be good to each other. The preceding program was pre-recorded.